of DMAA, the king of stimulants, the strongest stimulants pretty much available now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do another review on DMAA. If you guys followed my last couple videos, I had some really, really rough times with DMAA. It is the strongest bulk stimulant that you could get. Because I had a little bit of those rough times, I took a long time off probably not taking this just because of how intense and bad the days that I had on this. It wasn't every day and every time, but I really was having a rough time with this, so I took a break. However, I've slowly been incorporating it at certain times and trying to be kind of well thought out about it and I've taken this probably eight to ten times recently as much as I can I kind of have a renewed respect and a renewed liking of DMAA the king of stimulants this stuff is very 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 strong in my opinion somebody just wrote to me that they took 75 milligrams which is seven and a half servings of this and they said that they didn't feel almost anything I think they were taking some sort of Adderall or some sort of something else I don't really know exactly what it was they said that they did not feel this at all because of the previous things that they were taking that's just crazy to me this stuff is crazy i can take almost anything i like to take a little bit of everything from all different realms and this is something that i really really have to be careful with it's something that i really have to take at a specific time so guys please be careful with this because it is really that strong believe the hype i took this only while i was going snowboarding as soon as i got back into snowboarding this year i was surprised about how draining and tiring it is it's probably like the most draining tiring thing that I've ever done as soon as I get up snowboarding for about two hours like I'm cooked and even though I stay there and just keep going and keep going even when I'm tired no matter what I took I was just so drained so I was like you know what if there's one thing that will wake me up and there's one thing that will get that drained feeling away it is DMAA when you get this it comes with this little 10 milligram scooper before when I would first start snowboarding and stuff I didn't have my 10 milligram scooper or oh, I had I had the one for new pep but I didn't have the one for this so I took little bits I don't really know how much it was. It was probably too much because the scooper is too small. After I've been using the new pep scooper, I go about two to three scoops every time. That seems to be about the sweet spot for me if I want a little bit lower, 20, two scoops, a little bit stronger, three. Maybe I would go up to four if I was on a certain day, but right now, two to three scoops seems to be where it's at. The pros is that it has insane long lasting energy. I did try DMHA a little bit and I also been trying Amp Citrate, but I think I went like between a scoop and two scoops of DMHA and I just didn't feel it that much and then I've been retrying amp citrate at one scoop and I do kind of feel a little bit but I don't really feel too too much so I'm gonna have to take my own time retrying DMHA retrying amp citrate and I'll do its own little review like this but mainly I've been just only going with the DMA super insane long-lasting energy pretty much overkill so many supplements they go out after two three four hours I mean this stuff sometimes I feel it I could take it at the beginning of the day and I feel sometimes I feel it at the end of the day some Sometimes I feel a little remnants of something when I wake up. It takes nine to 11 hours for the half-life, so that's at the point that half of it's gone out of your body, so you still have to get rid of the last half. So if you take this every day, you're pretty much always gonna have this in your system. Your body's not gonna ever fully get it out. So again, but very, very good to take it every other day like I was doing. I work from 4 p.m. to midnight, so I get up, go snowboarding, then go right to work. It's just absolutely draining. I, as much as I wanna do more things, I just, I'm so drained. And this doesn't fully 100% wake me up for the entire time but I'm pretty much good I mean there'll be times where as soon as I get to work like I'm ready for conversations as soon as I get up and start walking around I feel like really good really up really great focused tons of energy and that's like after I took it hours and hours and hours ago and I went snowboarding I'm completely drained and I could still feel it so it's insane long-lasting energy and again it's for a day of pretty much hard labor and then something after the hard labor just just like a day that you have to do stuff from beginning to end and and a lot of of physicality too it has to have a little bit of flow I've noticed I'll, I'll kind of get into the cons but you really need like a long day with a lot of flow the last pro to this is that it is a thousand serving so on top of it being a super exotic extremely strong feeling you just get so much of it and you just barely any to put in your drink if somebody wanted some more you could share it really just have so much because you have a thousand servings like let somebody just try one out you know to see how it feels just be safe the cons there's actually quite a bit of cons with this but if you use it correctly 
I don't have too many problems. So number one is I don't recommend taking this every day. Like I said, it will probably build up in your system. I know there's some people who are crazy on this channel. I just can't believe how their body's still working. They just take stimulants like water, you know what I mean? I did notice that the next day, I had them a little bit zapped, a little bit tired, and I kind of will feel a low level of tiredness throughout the day, but it's very, very slight. And I think if you were to just take it like every other day, it's really not bad. Like I still feel caffeine, I still feel they feel everything else, but it's just not really bringing me back the same way. This one also does provide a lot of frustration and anger issues. You need something with a little bit of flow in the day. If I'm ever in a frustrating situation or people are going really slow or I have to do like a lot of paperwork and go to the DMV, some really tedious activity that just has, doesn't have that much fun to it, doesn't have that much flow, doesn't let me get my energy fully out. It's really, really frustrating and this stuff does get me really upset at times but like I said if you have a good outlet and you take only this you don't take any other caffeine you should be somewhat okay maybe this is just me that's just how I react to it but I find that this stuff gets me really really angry and it did before now taking it it's, it's actually a lot better before it was really really bad and I still do notice the strong anger issues with this one and again I would watch the caffeine most of the time I would take this I would kind of be very light on the caffeine throughout the day and like whenever I felt it necessary but it's very easy to get that anger feeling kind of amplified with this and caffeine so that's pretty much the cons guys it is really insane you do feel a little tired the next day you can get a little bit aggressive don't take it every day but I like having access to such an extreme and strong tool everybody who's around my age is getting a little older they're getting a little more tired I feel like I could take this and I'm just going to be pushing through more things I just don't really need that much extra help with energy once I take this yes I do feel a little bits of tired every now and again but as soon as I get going and doing stuff it's like bam like I wasn't tired at all so this supplement is for the people number one who want access to the most extreme thing if they need it or for the people who just can't get enough I just can't believe somebody said they took seven and a half scoops and they didn't feel anything and they're kind of like upset they thought they got this was like a fake product I don't know what's going on with them I definitely recommend starting out with like a 10 milligram scoop just to be safe I did feel a little bit of like a chest cramping or chest tightening uh, one of the times when I took this but then I kind of took like a few days off and it's completely gone and I've taken DMAA since that day it's been okay I think I had taken it one day and then I went snowboarding two days later and then that's when I started to feel it so this stuff is really insane just be very very careful and watch the other stimulants with it but that's been my review of DMAA the king of stimulants the strongest stimulants pretty much available now it's insane stuff I've actually have a renewed liking and respect for it and I really really like it for specific times only going snowboarding I don't think I've taken this any other time than when I was going snowboarding so I would probably have the same frustration and problems I had before if I wasn't doing an extreme activity I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace